everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to another episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Charles. I am your host. I'm also an author. I write books on pubs and beer and all that fun stuff. But on today's episode, we're going to be tasting and reviewing another beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing. This is their Fantastic Haze. Fantastic Haze. Uh, so, this beer, this is an Imperial Hazy IPA. This beer clocks in at a pretty substantial 9% ABV. So, if you have more than a few of these, well, you'll be doing, well, you'll be doing something. I don't know what you're going to be doing, but you'll be doing something. Uh, and the IBU on this bad boy clocks in at 40. So, a 40 IBU, and it's made with five different types of hops. And those hops are Amarillo. Azeka, Chinook, Idaho 7, and last but not least, Strata. So, I'm going to jump right in. Let's pop the top on this one, and uh, let's see what we got. Fantastic Haze. Will it be fantastic? <gasps> Only time will tell. Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, a little bit of smoke. Oh, it's still smoking. I'm going to push some of that smoke out there. Oh, still smoking, still smoking. Let me get my little goblet here. I can do a goblet, get a little goblet glass today. Nice little pour into the goblet. Oh, set this back down. Okay, what do we got? Oh, nice color on this. Uh, I got to admit, though, uh, I was expecting a little bit more haziness to it. But I do like the color. It is a darker shade of gold here, or, or a dark honeycomb. Very, very nice color. We have... Um, just about a quarter finger veil of white carbonation, but I'm going to swirl this and let's get those aromas moving here and see what we can see. Here we go. Nose it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, nose-wise, um, aromas, predominantly, I'm getting some dankness. There is a little bit of citrus. There's a little bit of orange. There's a slight herbal quality or herbal tea quality to it and a slight bit of lemon. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Hey, let's just keep swirling and let's see what the flavors are going to be. Here we go. Nice balance on the aromas so far, though. The dank kind of rounded everything out, but we can still kind of separate everything else. But here we go. Sip number one. Okay, flavor-wise, not what I was expecting at all. Hmm. Really, really, really not what I was expecting. Um, so off the bat, I'm getting a little bit of that orange. I'm getting some lemon meringue. a little bit of peach but it is it's, it's also it's rounded out it's very doughy it's very doughy and um a little crackerish but very doughy let me get another sip here it's a little oily i mean it, it is a full body beer i mean it is an imperial so it's a little oily but flavor wise i mean that's about it hey, you know what let me get one more sip hold on i think i'm missing something here Yeah, that, a little bit of that herbal tea quality is, is starting to come through now that it's opened up a little bit. And it does, it kind of finishes uh, as a little bit bitter now on the back end. Not, not, not much, but it is there. There's a slight back end bitterness. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it one more sip. I have to say one more, but then I do one more after that. So uh, I'll just give it another sip. Yeah, I mean... The, the aroma was, I mean, the nose was really nice. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the nose had some nice balance and separation. The flavor, uh, not so much. I mean, it just seems like there's a bunch of flavors in there and they're all garbled together. Uh, and it's it's really hard to pick some of them out. Um, but the doughiness is kind of, you know, that doughy malty backbone is kind of covering everything, which is okay. But I said, it's just, it just they're just kind of like thrown in a pot. It's like, oh, here we go. You know, I'm only going to give this one... 
I'm going to give this one a six on the pint of meter. Um, I mean, number one, it's just the aromas I said, while were, were nice, not what I was expecting on the, on the palate at all. And like I said, the balance I think is off. It's just, it just seems like, I don't know. It just seems like there's a bunch, a bunch of flavors, but okay, it's done. Forget it. Bottle it. Boom. Uh, yeah, very, very odd one here. Uh, so a six on the pint meter but hey, you know what? As always, I always recommend everyone to go out and get a six-pack and give it your own opinions, because how else would you know? Uh, but on that token, I want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. As always, you can follow me at the websites, www.pubshaveapintin.com, or at the blog, www.pubshaveapintin.blogspot.com, just like the books. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, leave us a thumbs up, and if you feel so inclined, leave a comment down below. We will see you all in the next episode. As always, raise a pint, cheers, prost, and enjoy.